Hi there. This is Luke from China's Gokto, China's CNC Zone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the Mac 3 software setting for our CNC uh, 3040. Uh, before we start, I would like you to know that uh, Mac 3 software can only run on Windows XP system. So for those customers who want to use Mac 3 software, I would suggest that you get a computer with uh, Windows XP system. The system I'm now using is Windows 10, but it's just for demonstration. I cannot really connect to the machine. Now let's start the installation. When you receive our machine, there will be a CD in it, in which you can find a package software for Mac 3, like this one. Um, one thing you need to know about the installation is that uh, when you install the software, your firewall might stop it, but you just need to allow it. So now let's click it. Allow it. It's quite simple, it's just like the common software installation. Then agree. You can change the location for the software. It's up to you though. Then you don't need to do anything about it. Don't click anything here. Just leave it there. Just click next, next, next. Done. After installation, you can have like uh, four more icons on your desk. This one, this one, this one, this one. After the installation, you will have four more icons on your desk. And what we need to use is Mac 3 Mail. This one. Let's click it. The first step is for the unit setting. The unit setting is in the config here. Um, actually, most of the software setting will be done in the config. So let's get started. Select native units. Uh, what we need to choose here is an ends. Do not choose inches. Um, if you choose inches, the machine would run inaccurately. So. Make sure you choose an ends, then click OK. The second step is for ports and pins. It is still in the config here, and you click it, ports and pins. Um, what we need to do here is we need to make sure the config here for port 1 is uh, 0, 3, 7, 8. And for port 2 is um, 0, 2, 7, 8. Then the kernel speed, it has to be 25,000 hertz. And the configuration here is uh, default, just in case you just you know make sure they are correct. Then click OK. The third step is for motor output setting, and it is still in the config, and then click uh, ports and pins again, and then click motor output. Uh, the first step is you need to enable um, x-axis, and y-axis, and z-axis, and you want to use the fourth axis, then you need to enable a-axis, then move on to the step pin make it uh, 2 for x-axis and then 4 for y-axis then 6 for z-axis and then 8 for a-axis then move on to third pin make it uh, 3 for x then 5 for y then 7 for Z and 
nine for a axis. Then you don't need to then you don't need to do anything about the dirt load active. Um, this is for the direction of the a axis, you know, the moving direction and y axis. If you wanna change the direction, like reversely, then you can, you know, you can click here to change it. But it's up to you. And I'm not going to do anything about it. Then move on to the step low. Then enable it for X and for Y, for Z, and for yeah. You don't need to enable it for A axis. Just leave it there. Then make sure the step port is one and one 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 for the four axis, and then third port is still the same one for the fourth axis. Then have a few more look. This this step is very uh, important, and you need to make sure all the configuration setting is exactly the same as what I did here, um, or your machine would run, you know, inaccurately. Then click apply, and then OK. The fourth step is for emergency stop setting. Um, it is in the config and ports and pins again. Then click input signals. Then uh, scroll down and find a e-stop here. And enable it. Enable it. And then make it 1 for e-stop and 10. Pin number 10 for e-stop. And enable the active load. Yeah, and that's it for the setting for e-stop. Have a few more look and make sure enable e-stop and then one for e-stop and pin number 10 for e-stop and active load enabled for e-stop. And that's it, click apply and OK. The fifth step is for limit switches settings. It is also in the config then ports and pins, then input signals. Uh, as you can see here, uh, x plus plus, x uh, minus minus, uh, these two x means the two limit switches for the x axis, and these two y means the two limit switches for y axis, and these two z means the uh, two limit switches for z axis. Uh, first of all, we need to do A's, Mm, enable them and you don't need to enable the X at home just leave it there and enable Z um, you don't need to do anything about the A axis because there is no uh, limit switches for the fourth axis then move on to the port uh, make an all one for XYZ three axis make an all one and then move on to pin number uh, make it 11 for X both and then you don't need to do anything about the X home then make it 12 for Y axis also both then 13 for Z okay then move on to active low enable them both of them and you don't need to enable the X home yeah the same Then that's it for the uh, limit switches setting. Have a one more look. Mm, still, remember you have to set exactly what I did here. Then they click apply and then confirm. The sixth step is for output signal setting. It is also in the config and pause and pins. Then click output signals. Uh, what we need to do here, we need to enable 1 to 5, and you don't need to enable 6, then enable output 1. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, enable 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5, then output 1. Yeah, that's all you need to enable. Then move on to port, make it 1 for enable 1, make it 1 for enable 2, 
then 143, 144, 145, then also one for output. Then move on to pin number and make it 14. Uh, yes, make them all 14. 14, 14. Then here for output, it is 16. Then move on to active, active low. Then what you need to enable is uh, one, two, three. And you don't need to enable four and five. Then move on to output. Then enable it as well. Yeah, then that's it. Mm, have one more look and do exactly what I did here. Click apply and then OK. The seventh step is for step motor setting. It's also in the config. Mm, this time, it's not in the port and pins. It's in the motor tuning here. Then let's click it. Uh, before we start, I would like you to know that the setting for X, Y, Z for the three axes is the same. Only the A axis is different. So now let's start with X axis. Make it uh, 400 for stats per, 2000 for velocity, then 300 for acceleration, then 5 for step pose and 5 for third pose. Yes, have one more look. You have to do exactly what I did here, then click save access settings. And we need to do the same to y-axis 400 for stats per and 2000 for velocity and 300 for acceleration then 5 for step pose, 5 for third pose you don't need to do anything about the GS just leave it there then click save axis, have one more look then move on to z-axis make it 400 as well and 2000 for velocity, 300 for acceleration, then make it 5 for step pose and 5 for third pose. Have one more look, then click save access settings. Uh, for those who want to use uh, the fourth axis, you need to do the setting for A axis. Make it 13. Point 3333 three, three, three. then 700 for velocity and 100 for acceleration one for step pose and one for the pose then click save access settings yeah have a more look and click OK um, that's it for the Mac 3 setting for CNC 3040 um, I am Luke again from China Scotto, China CNC Zone. If you still have any questions about the machine, about the software setting, uh, feel free to contact us. Peace out.